I would like to present to you the main features of our Crestal Approach Sinus Kit. We will show you the three most important characteristics of the COS Kit system for a safe sinus membrane lifting. A conical bone lid is being formed and the direct contact with the membrane is being minimized. Bone chips are being formed in between the cutting blades. Due to the COS drill's unique design, a conical bone lid is being formed and the direct contact with the membrane is being minimized. Additionally, bone chips are being formed in between the cutting blades that are cranially shifted and elevate the membrane safely. I'll show you how to use the cos kit in case of the flat, incline, and septum sinus floor. By using the unique stopper system, a membrane perforation as well as excessive drill penetration can be prevented. Autogenic bone collection can be gained at low speed. COS kit provides the most convenient sinus surgery with maximum safety. I'll show you how to use the COS kit in case of the flat, or inclined sinus, as well as in case of a septum in the maxillary sinus. How does the casket change your approach to sinus surgery? The casket has changed the, my approach to the sinus lift surgery in that it allows me to do the osteotomy site preparation and also prepare and elevate the sinus at the same time. So it's cut down the use of osteotomes and mallets, which the patients really dislike, uh, and allowed me to safely advance into the sinus uh, while I'm also preparing the osteotomy site for the implant fixture. How do the safety features of the casket simplify your surgery process? The casket allows different safety options such as the stoppers to allow me to slowly advance into the floor of the sinus and elevate the sinus with its rounded design burrs that cut at the end and on the side uh, so that I can advance into the sinus without tearing or disrupting the membrane. This has allowed me to prepare the sites while I'm doing the osteotomy preparation for the implant fixture uh, safely and limit the use of osteotomes in the mallet. And when would you recommend the use of the casket? I recommend the use of the casket when there's five millimeters or more residual bone between the crest of the ridge and the floor of the sinus. This allows for primary stability. It also allows with the special design of the end cutting and sided fluted uh, drills in the casket for me to harvest and collect a tremendous amount of bone that I can use with my bone graft material uh, to pack into the sinus before placing the uh, fixture. So these are most likely done in sites of uh, premolars, fresh extraction sites, and also healed extraction sites for the premolars and some molar cases where, again, I have five millimeters of residual bone or more. So what do you think about the casket? Uh, it's unbelievable. It's simple, very easy going. Uh, doesn't take much to really place to, to lift the floor up. It's, uh, it's like uh, dummy proof. Would you recommend it to any other doctors? Oh yeah, it's a, it's a good system. I mean, I like it. It's very simple. It's not complicated. It's the least traumatic. It's the least invasive. And any general practitioner should be able to do it without any problems.